Well, how do there, chums? I watched State of Play, PlayStation State of Play, the other day, and there was a few games that have stood out to me. Don't worry, Astro Bot is not one of those games that stood out to me, even though it does look quite cool. There are three games that I want to show you that is definitely going on my radar. So let's um, let's come off of Astro Bot for a moment, shall we? And let me show you the three games that are definitely on my radar. Games that I definitely want to be picking up or bringing to my channel to at least do like a first impressions or a review. First up is Monster Hunter Wilds. Let's get into this, shall we, people? Okay, now the water effects in this look great. I love the graphical oh, art Captain. style. What's your team been getting up to? The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition. Mine included. Whoa, this forest is amazing. Does look good. My fur isn't built for this kind of weather. That's causing the water currents to surge too. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah. This is its territory. We're in trouble. Love that. I often play as an archer in this. Cool. So it looks like there's multiple biomes there, doesn't there? Which is I mean, look at the fur and the feathers. And fishing! I guess. I like the mounts, not bad. The way to traverse, pretty nice. Using bombs, like it. Using the environment against the monsters as well. <laughs> These little chaps. Everything I love about Monster Hunter and more. I mean, I played Monster Hunter World and I love that. Just put the meat down. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. They love their food. <laughs> food or death. Oh. Oh. Love it. Uncle Palicos or something. That's it. What the white wraith? Barge is that? It's real. The white wraith. That's a new monster. Oh, we're after. The White Wraith. Love that. There. Someone's in trouble. It Flying galleon. A more thorough investigation. What is that thing? An extinct species. Oh, cool. You're a hunter. You've got a weapon, and you do nothing. Oh, sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome! When's it coming out? When's it coming out? Come on, give us a release date. Now, I did watch some of this yesterday, but I was in bed and I was only paying half attention. February 28th, 2025. That's around my birthday. It's a little bit after my birthday, my but my birthday is mid-February. But awesome! That's going to be my ask for a birthday present. I'll probably pre-order it on my birthday. And it looks like you get quite a fair bit for pre-ordering. Yeah, I don't know whether I'd go as far as a premium deluxe version. Uh, or should I? Oh, that's that's a query. I'm going to look into it, see what the prices are. But yeah, there we go. Dra oh, that was um, Monster Hunter Wilds. So that was the first game to add to the radar. Okay, coolio. Let's go on to the next one. So this one is called Arch Age Chronicles. And... I've not even heard of this before, but when it came up, I was like, wow, what is that? But I've got a few questions to go with it. So here we go, let's hit play. Sweet. Grab a line. See? I've never heard of these people either. I've not done so, my research. How did it feel to learn the truth about the night sky tragedy? It looks like the Witcher, doesn't it, in part? Long ago. Look at the size of that. Slaughtered each other. Until the whole world lay in ruins. Combat looks epic. And yet, 
The scale looks great. Another chance in Aurora. Looks a bit it like Dragon's Dogma. Of your beloved mother goddess. Heck yeah. However, I still have no trust in your kind. Oh, awesome! Werewolves! Heck yeah. Combat looks great. Looks, it's almost like Street Fighter. Player versus player type stuff going on. I don't know whether that's player versus player or whether it's NPCs. If it's NPCs, their freaking intelligence level is pretty darn good. Either way, up for this, definitely. It looks like you can have all different types of player types. I'm hoping you get to make your own character, and I'm hoping that some of those are other players so you can play online with friends. So if it's all this sort of stuff, if you can make your own character, if you can play with friends, sign me up. If it's preordained characters, can't play with friends, and they were NPCs alongside you, maybe not, you know? If this is like Dragon's Perhaps Age, no. You might become one if this of is, us. If this is like Dragon's Dogma Online, yes. So that one is coming in 2025. I need to know more. Need to know more on that one. I'm going to do some research into that. But that one is firmly on my radar for now. Yeah. Okay, right. So next one is Towers of Axkabar. Now, I've been talking about this one for time. Time and a half, people. Let's hit this one up. At last, we've returned to our ancestral land. A Beautiful. Gaspa. It all begins with a colossal seed. Awesome. Unlock 40 plus creatures. Coolio. Nice, man. I mean, look at this. This is like never ending story meets Legend of Zelda and one of my favorite games, Dark Cloud. This looks awesome. Sign me up. Now it says there, a vast world to explore and create. And it also mentions that you can make three different types of city or town, which is cool. Cool. I love the creatures. I like the design. I like the world. It looks great. And then it says that people can visit your um, little village that you've created as well. And then it's got this element. It looks like you've got to destroy the darkness and return that area of the world back to being beautiful. At least that's what I'm reading into. I don't know. I love the traversal. I like the gliders. Very cool. I like the fact you can ride creatures, scale creatures, get creatures as pets by the looks of things, maybe. Love it. I'm not seeing anything about this that I don't like. Okay. That comes out early access November 2024. That's only a month or two away. Got to jump into that. Got to jump into that. Heck yes. Okay, so we've got all of that going on in the state of play. Other than that, there was only one other title that sort of took my fancy. And I think it might be a little bit too dark for my channel. So here we go. I'll show you it anyway. So let's make it a little bit larger on screen. And it's, I think it's, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. It's called Hell Is Us. They took him away. It looks a little bit Mother too... I couldn't play outside anymore. A little bit Hell too dark sick. for my channel, I think. She said the country was sick. But we would be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They lived inside our heads. I like the creature design. I like the lighting. I like the atmospherics. I like the combat. The combat looks freaking ace. I like the sword. I like the use of drones. It just looks good, doesn't it? You know that game where you're running around carrying freaking packs on your on your back and you've got a baby in a bottle or whatever it was that really weird game it looks like that without the really weird bits just stuff that is kind of you know in the realms of not messing with your mind i quite like the look of it but is it too dark for my channel does it suit my genre of play i don't know 
but I think this is I mean I did play Elden Ring let's face it so it's one that I could play but I'm thinking if I did pick it up maybe play it next Halloween or something for the whole of October I mean I'm not too sure when this one comes out it doesn't really give a release date I think it's just 2025 yeah no release date there my story is a tale of rules well, there we go now there was quite a lot of PlayStation VR 2 games inside of the state of play. If you own PlayStation VR 2 and you're looking for a couple of games, there are a couple that are worth adding to your radar inside of the state of play. So anyway, I've actually finished my cup of tea while going through those free games that I want to add to my radar. Are any of those free appealing to you? I might do a poll just to find out which ones are and which ones aren't over on my community tab. So head on over there. There should be a poll up by the time you see this video. Give it a vote. Let us know which one out of those free that I want to pick up. So which were they? They were Monster Hunter Wilds. I think that one might win because it's the most popular game and game franchise. Towers of Azkabar, which is my personal favourite out of those three. That's the one I'm most excited for, um, mainly because I used to love Dark Cloud. That one, it kind of looks Dark Cloudy. It looks kind of zelda -y. And the fact that it's got multiplayer and you can create your own towns just has me going, OK, all right, I'm aghast by a gasper. Yeah. And then there's, there was one other, which was the Ark Age Chronicles. Now, I used to play a game called White Knight Chronicles, which I used to freaking love. White Knight Chronicles 2 was better than the first one. But when you bought the second one, you got the first one thrown in. I used to love that. That was freaking great. And that looks like it's kind of that with more realism. And I'm hoping it's multiplayer and I'm hoping it's online. Even if it is just, you know, you and, say, four of your mates in a party, that would be fine. That would be great. That one, if it is what I think it is, if I can create my own character, if I can play online with a small group of friends, I'll be happy as Larry. That one would definitely be on my radar, and that one I'm super excited for. However, if if it's preordained characters, your, your character class lot um, and the multiplayer isn't what I think it is. Maybe it's just, you know, you control a couple of NPCs and it's turn-based or, or something. A little bit like Dragon's Age, where they're live action, but in your party. Not really for me. I mean, Dragon's Age was also featured in State of Play. But I think that Arc Age Chronicles looks better than Dragon's Age. Watch the two. See what you think. But well, there we go. That's just my thoughts and feelings. Yeah, hopefully. I, I mean, did you watch the state of play? If you feel that there should be a game on my radar that isn't, let me know the title. Set it up in the comments. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.